Welcome back to another episode of Big Bear Boston Combo, episode number 65. The conversation I want to get into today, does David Benavidez really need a fight with Canelo to become a superstar? Or does he have the right mindset and the right approach to become a superstar in his own right? And also, let's get into a few short clips on what David Benavidez had to say in Canelo taking a zone deal over the PPC deal. And also what Eddie Hearn had to say in supporting David Benavidez and his approach. Um, what what do you think about um, Canelo going that route? And uh, it looks like Golovkin's right after, and he's got to see yeah. you guys. You guys gotta do what you do. Um, what, what do you think about Canelo? I think it's his decision, bro. Whatever he does, it's up to him and his team. I have no really saying that. Um, like I said, now what we gotta do is just stand on leg. What do you make of David Benavidez also chomping at the bit, wanting to fight? Like, but these guys don't fight, any, you know. That, they're all looking for that Canelo Alvarez. Mm -hmm. uh, um, obviously, there's a lot. There's more pressure coming Canelo's way to make the fight happen with you. Uh, but how, realistically, how much time do you think you you, you got? Um, obviously, you're not look. You're not waiting on it. But for Canelo to, to, to before time runs out and maybe um, he retires or whatnot, you know, he's made a lot of money. But I'm prepared to take a big fight to to make people. Not enough people are calling that fight like and that's because they're not fighting each other let Benavidez fight Jamal Charlie that's a tremendous fight Benavidez wants that fight well then they've got to talk to Charlie I believe Benavidez wants that fight I believe Benavidez wants that fight I mean I don't know bro like I just said like I, I don't know I can't you know keep like thinking about what he's gonna mm -hmm. you know if he First. wants to retire or whatever he wants to do that's, that's his decision he's a fighter and he can do whatever he wants so you got to hear what David Benavidez had to say in the decision that Canelo chose fighting uh, the zone fighters in Bevo and Triple G, and also what Eddie Hearn had to say. He's, the thing I like about Eddie Hearn, he's going to say what he's going to say. He's going to keep it real. Uh, you know, I kind of take from my own opinion, um, watching uh, a lot of interviews and, and stuff like that. You know, anytime I do a video, I want to make sure that I'm coming and, and actually speaking facts and actually letting you guys hear, uh, you know, from the person that actually said it. But um, everything I hear from, from Eddie Hearn, man, this guy, you got to look at it like this, man. He's not even um, a promoter for David Benavidez. Uh, it, it's awesome to hear him saying he believes that uh, David Benavidez want to fight everybody. It makes his job easier because if he could set him up with uh, Demetrius Andrade, that's easy to make because he know both fighters want it. Um, but the, the topic of this video is, uh, can David Benavidez become a star on his own? I think he can. I think it's easy. I think he can. I think that he needs to forget the uh, Canelo fight. I think anybody that's chasing Canelo needs to forget it. Um, and, and I said that about uh, J J Jamal Charlo too. But I, I like David Benavidez's approach. He's calling out everybody. He's, he's been in confrontations with uh, Caleb Plant. He said he want to beat Caleb Plant up. He, he don't want to judge his, uh, you know, Caleb Plant's performance of uh, what he did with Canelo Alvarez, he want to judge it on what he want to do. I, I love that. Um, you know, you can't really fight, follow another man down into a, you know, into a, a dark hole that leads to nowhere. So I love the fact that he's taking his career in his own hands, and I think that he will become a big star. And and I, like I said, I don't think a, a loss defines you. I think that he can, he can, he can get a loss from Andrade. He can get a loss from Jamel Charlo. Not to say he's gonna lose, but he can. And I, and I feel like. Just the way he approached the sport of boxing, that he can always come back, and uh, the fans will always cheer for him. I got a feeling that this kid is going to be a uh, a superstar um, sooner than later. I, I feel like once he get past David Lemieux, I think he's gonna. If, if uh, it seems like they can get the fight easily made, uh, I'm pretty sure Al Heyman would do it. Uh, on especially with you know, I'm pretty sure they believe in any fighter that they sign, and David Benavidez. This is one fighter that you want to believe in. So I think that if on Al Heyman's side, uh, and and uh, seeing like what Eddie Hearn is saying, it seemed like the fight is easy to be made between these two. And uh, Andrade, you know, his daddy had a uh, conversation. Um, you know, somebody was giving him an interview, and he said that he he really, you know, they want to fight. Uh, and and also, uh, if you go back and look at FightHype.com, uh, a uh, really really good channel. Um, you know. They do some really good interviews, and I love the way they, they the, the questions that they ask because they get the most out of some of these fighters. Um, and I felt like uh, David Benavidez, he, he was straight on in saying that uh, he would take less because uh, I think it was reporting that David Benavidez wanted like nine to ten million dollars to fight uh, uh, Andrade. He said, I, "I don't need all that." He said, "I'll take less to fight him." I think this kid is after um, greatness. I think when when you say, "Hey, money is is 
not I'm not gonna let that be an issue um, especially he's only 24 25 years old so he has so much room to make money you got to get the bigger fights before somebody's gonna be willing to put up that type of money that's what a lot of these fighters don't get you can chase Canelo all day but what's the point when you can you can you can take a couple risks and if you come out on top you can also get your money on the back end um, you know Floyd Mayweather you, you know everybody can't do what he did uh, Canelo took that approach and it's working you know for him too but you can't everybody can't do that so instead of getting 34 35 years old still getting paid five six million dollars a fight you can be with a hundred million dollars a fight you can get uh, you don't even have to become undisputed I think a lot of people focus on undisputed over everything yes it's cool to keep breaking records and stuff like that but when you you know if you continue to chase somebody you're never going to look at what you need to do as a person as a human being to become great and i think that david benavidez is taking the best approach out of charlo uh, i'm just gonna call him out charlo caleb plant well caleb plant is it seems like he want to get back in there with, with some of the tough guys um triple g all them guys anybody that's around uh, 160 168 i think that david benavidez is taking the biggest approach and, and like i say i'm a fan of boxing first um, I'm a, I, I like Jamal Charlo, but he needs to be taking notes from um, from David Benavides and jumping in there to w w with some of these scary guys. You cannot wait on a, a, a big fight with Canelo because Canelo, man, I'm telling you, these fights may not never happen with Canelo. He may not never, ever face these guys. And he keeps saying they got to prove to him something. I, I Okay, you know, money-wise, I think any one of these fights will sell for Canelo. But I, I, I feel like, you know, why chase a man if a man don't want to fight you? He don't, you can't make him fight. And, um, you know, business-wise, people can say, well, he took the better deal. Like, no, you, you you know, Canelo did not take the better deal for me. The PVC was the better deal because of the fighters. It ain't because of the brand. It was because of the, the, the fighters on, on either side. David Benavidez, is, is, he's a dang, very dangerous fight for Canelo. And also, uh, Jamal Charlo is a, uh, more of a dangerous fight than, than, than Triple G. You know, and, and and maybe Bevo can do good or whatever, but we don't we don't know. Hopefully, he can turn it into a fight and give Canelo a good run. But I got a feeling Canelo gonna drop him like he dropped everybody else. Canelo get he, he's, he's got a system going, and the system is working for him. But you gotta just like David Benavidez said in the interview. Also, he said that he loved. Uh, well, he he don't care about what Canelo is doing. He has to stay in his own lane. So I. I Love that approach. That's from a big fan of David Benavidez. Uh, you can see it in his eyes. This kid has, you know, he lost his. I think he lost his title twice, and he still came back and gained it. Um, get, got got it back. So that shows me he he straightened his life out of whatever he was the demons that he was dealing with. And now look at him. You know, if he get a couple fights, he get. Uh, get and I have. I don't mean to skip off uh, what I was saying. My train of thought, but he also was. Um, he like I say, he he want to face. The most dangerous guys at 168, and he's and I, and I said there was a, it was kind of a race between uh, him, Andrade, and Jamal Charlo, and I feel like David Benavidez is going to take the next top spot after Canelo. I'm telling you, especially at the higher weight classes. I, I don't mean with any other weight classes, but he's going to take another spot after Canelo because he's going to beat them to the mark. He's going to face Andrade. He beat Andrade, and he's you know he faced Caleb Plant, and then j j that's putting more pressure on. Jamal Charlo and and like uh, Eddie Hearn said also he said that you could put more pressure on Canelo to fight both of them um, and I heard that from a few a, a few uh, people you know doing interviews with Fight Hype and, and all the big big sources out there that I follow so you know go check those uh, full interviews out I just wanted to kind of take the sound bites and and, and you know like I say I, it's better coming from the fighter the promoter uh, and, and, and whatever's involved than you know me just kind of making up what i want to make up but uh that's what's great about my channel because i really do my my research i listen to a lot of these interviews and um you know i kind of piece it together so you guys can understand how the sport of how the sport of boxing uh truly works and and, and a lot of times it's really me just wanting to really get inside these guys heads and, and, and see what they really thinking um and, and like i say it, you know i feel like david benavidez is the next man up as far as the, the uh heavier weight classes I feel like he can take that that spot, and um, he can build onto his own legacy. And uh, like I said, you know, staying in your own lane, doing things that you want to do, he can create a big name for himself. I don't think he really needs to fight with Canelo. Say if Canelo never fights any one of them, on uh, you know, maybe two, three years down the line, David Benavidez 
is that is that main guy. Uh, even he could probably be potentially the uh, the face of boxing. I mean, that's that's what he's you know that's what he's showing me. By the time he's 30, 30 years old, uh, he could be the, the face of boxing. He probably compete with, with people like Tank and stuff like that. But you know, I any boxer that's really looking to to uh, to, to gradually get up that ladder to get some of the bigger fights. I think that all of them need to be following David Benavidez and his approach. You know, you don't need, uh, you know, depends on what weight class some of these fighters in, you don't need the, that that one guy. If that one guy don't want to fight you, fight the next dangerous man. No matter if you win, lose, or draw, with a, with a, sometimes with a, uh, depend on what type of fighter you are, with a loss, you can still come back. You know, you can, you can still get, you know, those big bucks. Look at, like I say, Manny Pacquiao did it, um, even though he wasn't the highest paid uh, you know, but Floyd Mayweather, yeah, he gave a lot of people, you know, I got to give him credit because he fought everybody. Canelo's not fighting the most dangerous guys, though, but you cannot worry about what Canelo's doing. You got to do what you can and support your career and your family. And, uh, you know, it's one fight at a time. You know, you take the one dangerous man out, you're going to face another one. And I really feel like David Benavidez, not with just his skill, but his mindset is going to take him a long way in the sport of boxing. And um, like I say, he has, for me, he has the best approach. He has my respect. Um, I'm a big fan of his, and I wish him well, and all other fighters well. And I really wish they would really uh, pay attention to David Benavidez. But you guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below. gonna conclude another episode of big bear boston combo episode number 65 you guys let me know what you think about this topic down in the comments below if you want to see what i'm wearing shop follow me on all social media platforms that i'm currently on links will be down in the descriptions below just want to thank you guys i can do each and every single video thanks for all the love and support i'm gonna keep pumping these videos out and give you the best boxing content that i could possibly give you guys also, if you like the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you guys won't miss it on any upcoming videos on my channel. With all that out of the way, thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Big Bear Boxing Combo.